to delete photos or videos from your Google Photos can be a bit tricky. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. First of all, there are two different apps to view photos and videos. One is called Album and the other is called Photos, which is same as Google Photos. So if you open Albums, you could see all the photos and videos that are stored on your phone. And it doesn't show whether it is also stored on Google Photos. And now if you would open Google Photos, you could see all the photos and videos that are in your phone. In addition to that, you could also see all your photos and videos that are stored online on Google Photos Cloud. So if any of your photos or videos has got this cloud icon, it means that it is also stored on your Google Photos cloud that is online. Now, if you would hold your finger on a photo, it would select it and then you could select more photos by typing on the circle. Then you should get all these options. If you scroll to the right, you could see the option called delete from device, but there is no option to delete it from the cloud. And now if I scroll it back to the left, you could see the option called delete. And if I tap on it, then Google Photos will give you this message saying moving items to the bin will remove photos and videos from your Google account devices with backup turned on. You see, that's the key. That means if your phone has got the backup turned on, then it would also delete from that device in addition to deleting it from your Google's account that is from the cloud. So now if I would go ahead and tap on move to the bin, Google Photos would delete these photos from my phone as well as from the cloud. Undo the delete. So the first step is to turn off backup from our devices. So to turn off Google Photos sync and backup, tap on your profiles icon, scroll down and then select photos settings. So tap on backup. As you can see, my backup is on. To turn it off, simply tap on here. And now Google Photos won't backup your photos and videos from your phone. Photos and videos that you have already backed up would stay on your Google Photos. Now if I would tap on back and back, you could see all the photos are still here and the photos and videos that have got a cloud icon are backed up on your Google Photos account and are taking space. Even now that we have turned off the backup and now if you would go and select a photo or video and delete it from your Google Photos on your phone, it would still delete it from your cloud as well as from your phone. Now if I go and open albums or gallery, you could see that those those three photos are not there anymore. So how can we delete it from Google Photos but not from the phone? There are some wrong solutions online which says that if you would go to the settings, then go to the apps and notifications, find photos app and select it. And then if you would go to the permission and remove the permission for storage by tapping on here, obviously then Google Photos would give you this warning. And if you would just tap on deny any way and then go back and then open Google Photos again, you would get this message saying allow photos to access photos, media and files on your device. And now if you would simply tap on deny, then Google Photos would just not work anymore. So you won't be able to delete anything using Google Photos because it just doesn't open. So it's not a good solution. So we can tap on allow access and tap on allow so that we could still use our Google photos. Instead, you got two options to delete photos and videos from your cloud. Before deleting anything from your cloud, it is very important to repeat this again that you would need to turn off the backup. And now that the backup is off, if you would go to a browser on your computer and if you go to google.com and if you would click on here and select photos, you could see all the photos that are stored on your Google Photos online. Now, for example, if you select a photo by clicking on the top left corner of the photo and then clicking on the trash icon and finally selecting move to trash, it would delete that photo from your cloud and not from your phone. So if you would go back to the phone and open Google Photos app, you could see that photo that we have just deleted is still there, but there is no cloud icon icon on it. That means this photo is there on our phone, but it is not there on the cloud. Very important. Photos app is not just used 
to view photos from your cloud but also to view and play photos and videos that are in your phone but not on your google cloud so instead of the album app you could always use google photos app to view your photos on your phone option two if you don't have a computer to delete the photos from the cloud then instead you could go to a browser on your phone it can be the same phone then go to the google.com tap on here and then select photos here all the photos and videos that are just on the cloud would appear in here and now if you would tap on the top left corner of a photo you could select it and if you would keep tapping on the circle you could select more and more photos and now if you would tap on delete in here it will give you the same warning which is if your backup is on on your google photos on any of your devices that has that photo or video then if you would tap on move to trash it would also so deleted from your phone but because we have turned off the backup if we would now tap on move to trash it would delete it from the cloud only now you can close the browser and if you would open the photos app you could see those photos are still there even though we have just deleted using the browser on our phone similarly they are also there in the album app I hope now it is clear how you could delete photos and videos from your cloud from your phone without deleting it from your phone. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. You can find my other videos in here. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.